In this video, I'm going to be showing you the skills I use to take down Moria, the Stormwing Matriarch, which is located here in the Harpy's Nest in Sunbright Hills. Now, you're going to have to, this is a high mobility boss, so you want to be moving a lot while taking this boss on. So, this is her here. You will unlock Void on completing this boss. Also, unlocking the option to create flawless gems so the skills i went with for this boss are as follows for my movement i'm using veil as veil of illusion because when you hit spacebar you can move to another point and then you can press it again and teleport back to your original location but what happens is it leaves a like a like an illusion of yourself behind and it will fire a projectile at the uh, target location i.e the boss so it it does a little bit of damage and it can that can really help because it might get the boss's attention and the boss might go for that instead of you which could give you that critical time to take a potion or something like that also Ward of the Damned. This is the first time I've actually used this for a boss. Um, after progressing on this boss a couple of times, I uh, decided this would be a good uh, time to try it out, and it worked really well. So what this does is, it's a barrier basically, but if anything hits it, it will spawn a skeleton. The more times it's hit, more skeletons will spawn. So it also knocks enemies back as well. So this is a really good um, skill to have, a good barrier skill, which also can support you damage-wise. Next is, if you've watched any of my other videos, my favourite, Chaos Folly. I'm surprised this hasn't been nerfed yet, but it probably will in the future. So you can launch two Chaos Bolts at the target, which will apply Chaos Burn. It does 125 magic damage. It is absolutely insane. I think I've used it on nearly every boss so far. And for my ultimate, I'm using Volatile Arachnid for this because I can spawn three spiders which will explode. Now, because the harpies that spawn in this fight, this is just good for putting additional damage down and trying to clear the field of harpies. There might be a better ones out there, but this is what worked for me. I went ahead and used the Sanguine Axes for this as well. Technically, the Dark Silver Spear should have been fine against us but it didn't feel like it was doing uh like it wasn't doing it any justice so i went ahead and used the sanguine axes because it was my hi highest damage throughput with that ac extra three eye level so i went ahead and used that but if you do have the sanguine dark silver spear go ahead and use that because i'm pretty certain that extra 25 percent damage against creatures will be more than enough to get you through this fight so i didn't use any brews or any additional potions in this fight i just used hp pots but uh yeah you, I'd, you can use brews the only reason i didn't have any brews with me is because i was actually progressing on this and i didn't expect to take it down so yeah i didn't have any brews but yeah uh if you're not too sure and you're following this guide Take some brews and it's just only going to aid you and have a decent feed level as well. That is also going to help you in this uh, process as well. As always, if you find this video helpful, consider subscribing. If you want to support me that little bit further, you can hit that blue join button and become a YouTube member.